We first learned several years ago that elephants almost never get cancer. What we're trying to do is see, can we take 55 million years of elephant evolution to design and create the perfect cancer-fighting protein and somehow get that into people? I'm uh, Dr. Joshua Schiffman. I'm a pediatric oncologist, which means I take care of children uh, with cancer. This is like science fiction, except it's real. And it all starts with the elephant. What is protecting the elephant? And what we've learned is that it's a very important gene called P53. We then take cells from the patient, and they grow and grow and grow. And the question is, can we learn from the elephant to figure out how to take those cancer cells and to kill them all? All of these are cancer cells, and we're able to grow them, and you can see we can make them green so we can watch them and monitor them. And then we're able to test out different medicines to try to understand, one, how are these cells growing, but how do they respond to new types of medicine? I'm Lisa, I'm a cancer researcher, and my five for the fight is for my father-in-law, Joseph Abeglin, who died of pancreatic cancer. Hi, I'm Aiden. I work in the Schiffman lab doing cancer research, and my five for the fight is for my grandma. Hey, I'm Christian. I work at the Schiffman lab doing cancer research. My five for the fight is for my first cousin, who died at 17 years old of a rare form of brain cancer. Hi, I'm Gabby, and I'm a cancer researcher. And my five for the fight is for my grandmother, who died of bladder cancer. With five for the fight behind us, we're able to figure out what is the best new type of medicine to help in the fight against cancer. We can't do it alone. Join us in the fight against cancer.